Now, as early voting begins, a state district judge will decide whether Highland Park ISD will be in violation of a recently passed state law that prohibits mobile voting units at its football stadium this Friday. Fox 4's Melissa Cutler explains. You can see it says EV. This is early voting. This is all of their supplies. A mobile voting unit complete with portable desk, election computer, tagged and ready to go. This one is going to Highlander Stadium. It's for early voting in Highland Park ISD. The problem, this is known as rolling voting and it's illegal in Texas, according to some Park City's residents. When you do that, you're changing, it's no longer a level playing field for the voter. This mobile voting booth is scheduled to be delivered to the Highlander Stadium Tuesday for folks casting early ballots this Friday, October 23rd, and again next Friday, October 30th, before Election Day, which is November the 3rd. Dawson and other opponents point to House Bill 2027 that was passed last month. That state's voting booths at events such as football games are now against the law unfairly targeting voters who may be influenced to support a $361 million bond. And two-thirds of the voters don't have children in school. So they are being disenfranchised, basically, because very few voters without children go to football games. So you can see how the two-thirds of the people who don't go to the football games are not accessing the polls. It's just going to be at that location. For that Dallas day. County Elections Administrator Tony Pippins Poole says placing the voting booth at the stadium doesn't prevent anyone from participating. In fact, she says there are extended voting hours, 7 a.m. through 9 p.m. on both those Friday nights, which means, in her opinion, it's more access, not less. You have the opportunity to either vote against, it's there for anyone. The Dallas County Elections Administrator also says she will put the mobile voting unit at the stadium until directed by others to do something different. That decision is expected in the morning. Highland Park ISD says its only intent is to increase voter participation, not to influence outcome. It is, however, the only North Texas school district still using one of those mobile units at a football stadium this election cycle.